let me start with the basic questions hello who are you what you can say create a net policies namespace net sentinel to block traffic from let's say source ip that now here it's trying to create that hi my name is Bhakshan Pandey and I'm an associate principal solution architect at Redhead. With nearly 14 years of IT experience, I specialize in the OpenShift ecosystem for the telco sector and have recently expanded my focus to the OpenShift AI ecosystem as well. Today, I'm here to talk about NetSentinel, a proof of concept platform we developed to showcase the power of agent-based models. At its core, NetSentinel is an AI-powered chatbot designed to demonstrate how various agent, both AI-based, and non AI based can be integrated to solve a specific business problems. For this demonstration, I focus on a network intrusion detection use case, leveraging a combination of predictive models, generative models, and natural language understanding NLU. What makes NetSentinel unique is its multi agent architecture. At the core, it has an NLU agent. This agent understands user queries in natural language. English at the moment, extracting entities such as numbers, even IDs, namespaces, etc., and translating them into actionable commands, meaning send the request to appropriate agents, AI, non AI, and handling that request. For AI agent, it has predictive model trained on dataset UNSWNV15 to detect anomalies in real time, and generative models like IBM Granite Family Model, Mistral, etc., for crafting detailed context over responses. For non AI agent, it has Prometheus agent for observability and the OpenShift agent for interacting with cluster APIs. Architecture overview. Now that we have set the stage with the proposed and vision of NetSentinel, let's dive into its architecture. This system has been designed with flexibility and scalability in mind, adhering to dual factor principle and leveraging a microservice based architecture. There are various stages to this project. The first step is data pipeline. The foundation of NetSentinel is start with data ingestion. We utilize the UNSW NV15 dataset, which provides labeled network traffic data, including attack types and normal events. The data undergoes preparation and feature extraction using Kubeflow pipelines. Once the dataset is ready, it proceeds through model development, hyperparameter tuning, and optimization, culminating in the training of a predictive model. The trained predictive model is deployed on the NVIDIA Triton model server, which ensures efficient inferencing at scale. To train the predictive model from scratch, NetSentinel provides a Kubeflow pipeline that can be executed within Red Hat OpenCV AI data science pipelines for seamless model training. You can import this YAML file from Red Hat OpenCV AI dashboards from these data science pipeline sections. Once the import is complete, you can execute from this uh, create run. Let's execute this, call it run one. This is where you are downloading data from, and this is where you are uploading the data tools. Like this is a S3 bucket menu object storage deployed in cluster at the moment. Now there are multiple stages to this pipeline. The first step is, is downloading data from the Kaggle servers. So which I provided the authentication already and it's uploading once the download is complete, it's upload that data to object storage in pipeline object storage. These are the data downloaded from Kaggle server. And this steps is complete. Now it's preparing the contain. So we're just selecting some features. Now this is prepare. And now you can see the prepared content in this location because it's a pre-process and you have like label encoder that is ordinal encoder, scalar, and then the PKL file as well. Once the data preparation is complete, you move on to the training phase and the training phase is already complete and you can see the model output already uploaded in object storage as well, model.joblib. Now, next step is evaluation phase and export phase. We're running these steps in parallel. So once the evaluation is complete and it will also export this model into O and an X format, which is required because we are deploying this model in NVIDIA Triton model server. Now the evaluation is done, you can see the output here. So this is the status of that one. So there's like a different types of attacks here, analysis on that. This is the accuracy score for that 98%. Right, the export is done. Now if you refresh this, you will see this X model to NX components as well. And we have this uh, config.pvtx file created, uh, which is required for our Triton model servers. And then this is a 
model also export in this particular format. Now once this is done, I mean, I'm also adding one more steps, uploading this one to separate S3 bucket. If we have a remote location or something, we can add that kind of steps. The model is now ready and it has been converted into O and an experiment. The next step is deployment. For this, I'm using Red Hat OpenCV AI ROI serving on time features along with NVGI Triton model server. Once the model is deployed, you can register this endpoint using either internal endpoints or you can also use via external endpoint as well. Step 3. Kafka-based event streaming. In this stage, we move to real-time data processing powered by AMQ streams, which is Red Hat distribution of Apache Kafka available in our operator hub. The Kafka cluster handles both raw network traffic data and process data streams. A network scanning tool, which is a Python-based microservice, fits raw traffic data into Kafka, which is processed by another microservice to enrich it with meaningful attributes meaning it will convert into a format that our predictive model server understand it. This streaming pipeline ensures that network events are captured, processed, and made available for downstream analysis and prediction. Step 4, Attack Prediction Service. The process data is then analyzed by the Attack Prediction Service, which uses the predictive model to detect anomalies and classify events. The service communicates with the predictive model by essentially saying, hey, can you help me classify this network traffic? It send the process traffic data and get the prediction back. Prediction are stored in Milbus, a vector database, which act as a central store for network traffic data. So far, we have completed four steps. In steps one, we produce a model, which is stored on object storage. In steps two, we deploy that model into our model server serving on time using NVIDIA Triton model servers. In step three, we use Kafka and use Python-based microservices to create and process network traffic data. In step four, we use prediction service to run prediction using our serving runtime and store that information into vector databases. Now this Milvus vector database is the final output for our next steps. Step five, multi-agent system with Slack integration. The final steps in the Net Sentinel architecture bring together its multi-agent system, seamlessly integrated with Slack to create a user-friendly and powerful interface. Slack serve as the primary interface for all user interaction. The NLU agent is the starting point for every user interaction. When a user sends a query through Slack, such as list all network policies from the cluster, get me all recent events identify as a tag, the NLU agent interprets the query to understand user intent. Extract entities such as IP addresses, event IDs, or namespaces, decide the next step. If the query can be answered directly, example, predefined questions, the NLU agent provides an immediate response. For more complex queries, it forwards the request to the appropriate agent for further processing. This approach ensures that every query is processed efficiently with minimal overhead. It's a demo time. I have created a Slack application called NetSentinel RSDev. You can follow this document configuring Slack to set up this or create this application. For now, let me create a channel. Let me call it NetSentinel Demo. And I will invite this application to this channel. Add to channel. Let me start with the basic questions. Hello. Who are you? What else you can do? Let me pause here before I continue to another section. If you look at the NetSentinel multi-agent architecture, the NLU agent intercepts every Slack query to analyze its intent and extract any relevant entities. For basic questions, the NLU agent handles these directly without involving other agent. These queries are answered using predefined responses. Why predefined responses? They ensure consistency in communication, crucial for maintaining a reliable user experience. They reduce system overhead since no additional processing or agent requests are required. And in business context, 
This approach enhances efficiency and ensures predictable outcomes for frequently asked questions. Let me start with second set of questions. Get me recent events identified as attacks. So you can see there are lots of events here. Get me five recent event identified as normal traffic. And you can see it's just returning five normal events. Tell me more about this event ID. And you can see this is a normal event, protocol UDP coming from source IP going to that destination IP. And there is a prediction probably this for each classes as well. Any other events from source IP? And you can see there are multiple events from source IP. Or we can also say any other events going to destination IP. It looks like there's only one event going to that destination IP. For more complex queries, the NLU agent determines the intent and extract relevant entities, such as numeric values, example 5, event IDs, or source and destination IPs. Once identified, the NLU agent forwards the request to the appropriate downstream agent for processing. The downstream agent operates within its own workflow. In this case, it's an AI agent that retrieves the information from the vector databases using a retriever. This retrieved data is then passed as a context to a large language model. The model generates a context or a response, which is sent back through the NLU agent to the Slack channel, providing the user with a seamless and insightful reply. Let me send a different set of queries. List all parts from namespace NetSentinel. So you can see these are the parts coming from namespace net sentinel itself. You can also verify that parse minus n net sentinel. So these are the parts running in that namespace at the moment. Console, you can see this is console kng double six c kng double six c. You can also say list all network policies net sentinel. And these are the network policies coming from that namespace. You can say create a network policies namespace net sentinel to block traffic from let's say source IP that. Now here it's trying to create that network policies, but it says you do not have permission to apply this network policy due to RBAC restriction. You can however create the network policy using following YAML file. So you can see net sentinel namespace is identified, and then it's also extracted the entities and then pass that as an information to this one here, right? Now, if I apply this native policies, and if you look at here, this block traffic is missing in this one. I can simply say OC apply and create that native policies, and the native policies is created. So if I run the same queries again, so this block traffic policy is now available there. Workflow is similar. Users send the request from Slack, and then you handle that request, Send the request to OpenSIP API handler. OpenSIP API handler send this command to the cluster, retrieve results, or perform the requested operation. Send the response back to the NLU and back to the Slack channel. Similarly, you can trigger other agents. For example, if you want to trigger Prometheus agent, you can see what does the network traffic users looks like. And this basically run a bunch of promql queries and get the response back from the cluster. So if you keep running, you will see the different response every time. These are like a live data coming from cluster itself. You can also say, what is OpenShift AI? This will be the response coming from large language model itself because it's a general query. You can see what is TCP IP. And again, this response is handled by large language model and then the response directly come from large language model itself. So simply speaking, NetSentinel isn't your typical general purpose chatbot like ChatGPT. NetSentinel is about solving business specific problems with a modular, agent based approach that allows for customization, scalability, and integration into various industries. The goal of this presentation is not just to showcase the network intrusion detection use case, but to inspire you to think about how such a framework can be applied to your unique challenges 
leveraging the power of AI and OpenSea to create innovative solutions.